All right, welcome back. It's your boy Jay. If you're looking for my co-pilots, Rama's right here. Girl goes in there on the couch. Today, we're watching the second movie of my birthday week. Today, we're watching Forrest Gump. Now, unfortunately, Forrest Gump is not a first time watch, but I haven't seen Forrest Gump in over 22 years. Forrest Gump is the last movie I watched with my granny before she died. Granny died in 2003. I watched this with her before I moved to Huntington. And it's funny because I never really know for my granny to watch anything other than like Lifetime movies, game shows, and soap operas. Like, she loves soap operas. But this movie come on, and she wanted to watch it. I was just sitting down talking to her. She was telling me how good the movie was, because she's already she had already seen it. You know what I'm saying? I had no intention of watching the whole movie with her. I was just sitting there talking to her. But then when I got to watch her laughing at the movie, I was just saying, I'm here. I'm just sitting down watching her. Like I said, it ain't the first time watched, but I wanted to watch it for my granny. So, like I said, it's some things I, re I remember about this movie. It's some things I don't. Like, it's kind of funny to me now already because I can, I can hear my granny laughing. Because granny was, she was so funny. Like, she was funny. I get my bluntness from her. I'm excited to get into it, but I'm a, I'm a little nervous. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping I don't cry. Because I know she don't want me sad watching it. But I cannot promise you I won't cry. Before we get into this, I need y'all to do me a favor. I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon. Over there, you get early access to all my full-length videos. You get exclusives. And you get a vote on a weekly poll to help decide what I watch on Fridays. Don't forget to check us out on social media. Don't forget to check out the merch store. And right now, in the merch store, you can get 25% off. All you got to do is use the promo code LISTEN. All capital letters. Listen. All capital letters. You'll get 25% off. Now we took care of all that. I'm ready to get into this. So I see you on the other side. Let's get it. Man, I think that's one of the most beautiful openings ever. Nineteen eighty one. Shut the fuck up. That's my birth year. Hello. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. Do you want a chocolate? I could eat about a million and a half of these. My mom always said life was like a box of chocolates. See, she's just so rude. He spoke to her and she ain't said nothing back. That's just rude as f I don't know why people's like that. You never know what you're going to get. When I say hi to you, you just look at them. Those must be comfortable shoes. I wish I had shoes like that. I bet if I think about it real hard, I could remember my first pair of shoes. Mama said they'd take me anywhere. She said they was my magic shoes. All right, Forrest. You can open your eyes now. He a little over that'd be his first pair, ain't he? Now, when I was a baby, Mama named me after the great Civil War hero, General Nathan Bedford Forrest. He started up this club called the Ku Klux Klan. Shut the f up. Mama said that the Forrest part was to remind me that sometimes we all do things that just don't make no sense. Okay, so his mama ain't racist. Since it was just me and Mama and we had all these empty rooms, Mama decided to let those rooms out. Mama was a real smart lady. Boy's got a good mama. You're the same as everybody else. You are no different. Your boy's different. Is that Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? He's on vacation. 
Shut the fuck up. Well, your mama sure does care about your schooling, son. Hey, she's about that man. You don't say much, do you? Hey, that's funny as hell. Mama, what's vacation mean? Vacation? Where Daddy went. Is that the same book you got in the suitcase? Vacations when you go somewhere and you don't ever come back. That is not vacation. I told you not to bother this nice young man. I was just showing him a thing or two on the guitar here. Say, man, show me that crazy little walk you just did there. Slow it down some. You ain't nothing but a I like that guitar. Hey, for it's getting, ain't he? This one night, me and Mama was out shopping. And guess what? You ain't nothing but a Some years later, that handsome young man who they called the King, well, he sung too many songs. Had himself a heart attack or something. He he did he did sing too many songs. I just watched this movie recently. They was working him like a dog. I remember the bus ride on the first day of school very well. Are you coming along? How she smoke? Mama said not to be taking rides from strangers. Y'all tell me y'all can smoke anywhere back in the day. I'm Forrest Forrest Gump. I'm Dorothy Harris. Well, now we ain't strangers anymore. Nah, folks, y'all still strangers. That's not how that work. Slate's taken. Taken. Hey, you tall as f I do remember the first time I heard the sweetest voice. You can sit here if you want. I had never seen anything so beautiful in my life. I just sat next to her on that bus and had a conversation all the way to school. And next to Mama, no one ever talked to me or asked me questions. I've asked you to tell. Are you stupid or something? Mama says stupid is as stupid does. I'm Jenny. From that day on, we was always together. Jenny and me was like peas and carrots. That's a beautiful shot right there. Now, my mom always told me that miracles happen every day. Some people don't think so, but they do. Hey, dummy! I bet little kids be mean, man. And he just standing there taking it. Hurry up, let's get it! Come on, let's get you! Hey, shit, he, he, he was fast as before these fall off. Because you see how hard they ride and they can't keep, they can't keep up with him? Now he part of the 4-4 game. From that day on, if I was going somewhere, I was running. <laughs> My dude gone, ain't he? Now remember how I told you that Jenny never seemed to want to go home? Her mama had gone up to heaven when she was five and her daddy was, he was a very loving man. He was always kissing and touching her and her sisters. Nah, that's not a loving man. That, that was Mr. Weinstein. Far, far, far away from here. That's a sad. He had the police say Jenny didn't have to stay in that house no more. She went to live with her grandma just over on Creekmore Avenue. They got a Drogo puppy. Jenny and me was best friends all the way up through high school. Hey, stupid! Quit it! Did you hear me, stupid? Run for it! Get the truck! Get the truck! Move it! 
Hey, man, Forrest gone, don't he? Hey, man, he made a left and gained 30, 40 yards on them. Shut the f up. He, hey, he high jumped that f fence. Hey, man, you know you running fast when you got to put your arm into your turn. Shut the f up. Oh, who in the hell is that? And there is false gum. Just a local idiot. Like, I remember him playing ball, but I don't remember this fucker being at the quarterback when he threw it and outrunning the receiver. I don't remember that shit. Run! Run! Oh, God! And my man's back straight as too. Shut the f up. He must be the stupidest son of a bitch alive. But he sure is fast. <laughs> hey, man. Why did he let that man run out like that? Federal troops enforcing a court order integrated the University of Alabama today. What's going on? Coons are trying to get into school. Coons? Well, right, coons trying to get on our back porch. Mama just chased him off with a broom. Not those coons, Forrest. Hey, man, it's amazing. Governor Wallace did what he promised to do by being on the Tuscaloosa campus and kept the mob from gathering. Oh, you know, they call Forrest all kind of names. A few years later, that angry little man at the schoolhouse door thought it'd be a good idea and ran for president. <laughs> but somebody thought that it wasn't. There the f*** out of me, man. I remember when that happened. I was in college. Did you go to a girls' college or to a girls' and boys' together college? Because Jenny went to a college I couldn't go to. But I go and visit her every chance I got. I mean, it's outside sitting in the rain. And that's a level of dedication I know nothing about. I'm not sitting in the rain waiting for you. I don't even care that he's dry. It's cold out there. Hey, Forrest is about that smoke. Hey, no questions asked. Hold his ass. He doesn't know any better. Sorry. I'll go back to my college now. Forrest, come on. Is this your you have a dream, Forrest? About who you're going to be. Aren't, yeah. aren't I going to be me? Well, you'll always be you, just another kind of you. Oh, Forrest. I want to be famous. It's innocent. She's just. I want to be a singer like Joan Baez. He's a beautiful person. Forrest said they key to the plot. Have you ever been with a girl, Forrest? I sit next to them in my home economics class all the time. You know damn well he ain't. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Forrest, the busted the nut on it. Oh. Hey, he brought to sleep good. <laughs> oh. Hey, Ford's about to have the best nap of his life. <laughs> he gonna wake up feel like a new man. Think I ruined your roommate's bathroom. I don't care. I don't like oh my god. That's amazing. They even put me on a thing called the All America Team. They put you in this little room with just about anything you want to eat or drink. I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Peppers. Shut the f up. Congratulations. How does it feel to be an All American? Very good, sir. How can you drink 15 Dr. Peppers? Congratulations. How do you feel? 
I gotta pay. I believe he said he had to go pee. <laughs> Sometime later, for no particular reason, somebody shot that nice young president when he was riding in his car. Hey man, the memes of JFK getting shot, y'all are dead wrong. Congratulations, son. Have you given any thought to your future? Hello, I'm Forrest. Forrest Gump. Nobody gives a husky shit who you are, Pussball! <laughs> Saints take it. At first, it seemed like I made a mistake, seeing how it was only my induction day and I was already getting yelled at. Hey, listen. Sit down if you want to. My granny cracked jokes about Bubba's lip. Every time Bubba was on screen. You ever been on a real shrimp boat? Hey, man, you talk about some funny sh I've been working on shrimp boats all my life. I started out on my uncle's boat. That's my mama's brother. I was just looking into buying a boat of my own and got drafted. I can hear it now. Well, now why they get that boy that lip? People call me Bubba. Just like one of them old redneck boys. Can you believe that? Oh, sh his mama cooked shrimp. And her mama before her cooked shrimp. And her mama before her mama cooked shrimp, too. Shut the f up. They were slaves, weren't they? That's what you spend on, gang. Can... Done, Drill Sergeant! Go! Why did you put that weapon together so quickly, go? You tell me to, Drill Sergeant. This is a new company record. You are going to be a general someday, go. Now, just as simple your weapon and continue. My man, focus, ain't he? Bake it, saute it, days on shrimp kebabs, shrimp gumbo, pan fried, deep fried, stir fried. Hey, man, I'm about to have to tell Bubba shut the f up, man. Shrimp salad, shrimp and potatoes. Like, did he get them in trouble for talking so much? That's, that's about it. Because ain't that a punishment? Hey, go. Get a load of the tits on her. Playboy. The man who owns a theater in Memphis, Tennessee, offered Jenny a job singing in a show. The first chance I got, I took the bus up to Memphis. So she fell off after Playboy. Yeah. Four is so proud of her right now. this all the time I can't help it I love you Forrest you don't know what love is and that's so f***ed up man, that's so f***ed disrespectful they sent me to Vietnam listen you promise me something okay just if you're ever in trouble don't try to be brave you just run okay just run away okay Jenny, I write you all the time. For how she ain't got no home address. Jenny is for the streets. You can't write a letter to the streets. You come back safe to me. Do you hear? Ah, right, man, this movie is sad as hell, man. You must be my FNGs. Morning, sir. Oh, get your hands down. Goddamn snipers all around this area who love to grease an officer. I'm Lieutenant Dan Taylor. Welcome to Fort Platoon. Lieutenant Dan. What's wrong with your lip? I was born with big gums, sir. Yeah, well, you better tuck that in. <laughs> Where are you boys from in the world? Alabama, sir. You twins? No, we are not relations, sir. Oh, man. He was from a long, great military tradition. Somebody in his family had fought in every single American war. Man, I don't really think that's a tradition. That's more like bad luck. 
and we were always looking for this guy named Charlie. That's my name, Charlie. He'd tell us to get down. Shut up. Get down! Shut up! So we did. <laughs> I like how he whispered when he said that part. I think some of America's best young men served in this war. He still whispered. There was Dallas from Phoenix. Cleveland, he was from Detroit. Not Detroit. And his name Cleveland. He the hey. He's from Detroit, and he's named after Baby Detroit. Hey, that's f***ing amazing. And Tex, with, well, I don't remember where Tex come from. That's f***ing brilliant, man. One day, it started raining, and it didn't quit for four months. What'd he say? And then, just like that, somebody turned off the rain, and the sun come out. Shut up! Oh man! Run, God damn it! Run! Hey, bro, fo fo gang. Hey, man, fastest man alive! I swear to you. I ran so far and so fast that pretty soon I was all by myself, which was a bad thing. Bubba. Forrest ran to freedom. Bubba was my best good friend. I had to make sure that he was okay. They wouldn't even fight no more where he was at. <laughs> he ran to peace. And every time I went back looking for Bubba, somebody else was saying, help me, Forrest, help me. Hey, man, he is throwing his head. He just dropping my Boo. Just leave me here. Get away. Just leave me here. Get out. Yeah, I forgot this one wanted to die out here. Then it felt like something just jumped up and bit me. Hey, stop them, stop me. Don't you stay here, God damn it! That's an order! I gotta find Bubba! I ain't gonna lie, I say more people to that. Nah, we'll be all right. Nah, Bubba, you up, bruh. <laughs> Bubba, a big boy. He can't carry him like he carried the rest of them. He's out running napalm. If I'd have known this was going to be the last time me and Bubba was going to talk, I'd have thought of something better to say. Hey, Bubba. That's so f***ed up. So Hey, Forrest. Forrest, what just happened? You got shot. Then, Bubba said something I won't ever forget. I want to go home. Like, my man didn't even try to console him or nothing. He's just like, you got shot. Bubba was going to be a shrimp and boat captain, but he died right there by that river in Vietnam. I don't mean to laugh at that, but I mean, hey, for real, he didn't try to console him or nothing. He was just like, you got shot. That's all I had to say about that. Even when Bubba was like, I'm going to be okay, the force was like, nah. It was a bullet, wasn't it? That jumped up and bit you. Yes, yeah, sir. Bit me directly in the buttocks. That's so sad. That's how he lost his friend, man. Like, he didn't try to console that man or nothing, man. The only good thing about being wounded in the buttocks, they gave me all the ice cream I could eat. Hey, ice cream be elite. Y'all know. Lieutenant Dane. Lieutenant Dane, ice cream. I mean, just wasted good ice cream for no reason. Gump! I'm Forrest Gump. Why the f letters? Shut the f up. She actually wrote them? Oh, no. Those are return letters. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I'm tripping. Those are return to senders. Now, the secret to this game is no matter what happens, never take your eye off the ball. Is that Ray Ray from um, South Central? For some reason, ping pong came very natural to me. The one with OG Bobby Thompson. See? 
Any idiot can play. That's so disrespectful. Do you know what it's like not to be able to use your legs? Well, y yes, sir, I do. You cheated me! I was supposed to die in the field! That was my destiny! And you cheated me out of it! Now, bro, I don't think that's the destiny, bro. Look at me. What am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do now? That's a sad moment. Oh, he's gonna take the square on there? And he's hitting inside the square? You've been awarded the Medal of Honor. Guess what, Lieutenant Dan? They wanna give me a. Me that dude is uh, fucked up. What'd they do with Lieutenant Dan? They sent him home. Two weeks later, I left Vietnam. So why is Forrest there, there longer? Well, a bullet to the ass. Why was he there longer? I understand you were wounded. Where were you hit? In the butt talk, sir. I'd kind of like to see that. And here's to you. Said it to the wrong one. <laughs> After that, I went out for a walk to see our nation's capital. Hey, what are you doing here? Follow me! Come on! Everywhere I went, I had to stand in line. My man just trying to take pictures. Boy! Boy! Jenny! Hey, she be everywhere. Like, you would think they was going to get married right there. Jenny and me was just like peas and carrots again. And even introduced me to some of her new friends. Shut that blonde man and get your white ass away from that window. Our purpose here is to protect our black leaders from the pig who wishes to brutalize our black leaders. Look like how for us looking at him. All these racist and imperial dog ass. Uh, gang time. I don't know what your name is, but you about to catch these hands, boy. Hey, Black Air Force energy. Forrest wants the smoke at all times. What? Oh, Stop, it. Stop it! He should have beat them boys up that were throwing them rocks at him. If he'd got one like that, bro, they wouldn't f with him no more. He should not be hitting you, Jenny. That old boy got a gun on him? God, dog. Like, none of y'all see him get slapped. I mean, you see her, her get slapped. Sorry I had a fight in the middle of your Black Panther party. That will always be funny. He doesn't mean it when he does things like this. It doesn't. And, hey, that abuse shit is wild, man. Knock your head out. Like, they really don't mean that. Yeah, they do. They mean it. It would never hurt you. You know that. I think. You should go home to Greenbow, Alabama. Hey, but you got love for us, man. Why are you so good to me? You're my girl. I'll always be your girl. Like you would have such a good life if you just would have stayed with Forrest. Like, Forrest would have been so good to you. And just like that, she was gone. I bet Jenny ain't shit. The Army decided that I should be on the All-America Ping Pong team. We were the first Americans to visit the land of China in like a million years or something like that. Yeah, that makes no sense. Can you uh, tell us um, what was China like? People hardly got nothing at all. No possessions? Some years later, that nice young man from England was on his way home. For no particular reason at all, somebody shot him. Is that how John Lennon died? He got shot? They gave you the Congressional Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan! They gave you a moron who goes on television and makes a fool out of himself. 
the Congressional Medal of Honor. Yes, yeah, so? <laughs> He's like, yeah. God damn, bless America. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey! Oh. Look at it, Dan! I bet that is terrifying. Have you found Jesus yet? No. I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for him, so. <laughs> Baby. Shrimping boats? Who gives a shit about shrimping boats? Well, I'll tell you what, Gilligan, the day that you are a shrimp boat captain, I will come and be your first mate. Call that man Gilligan. Did she call him Wheels? But in the middle of all that fun, I began to think about Jenny, wondering how she was spending her New Year's night out in California. He loved him some Jenny, boy. Don't you love her face? Was her eye black? Hey, Lieutenant Dan, bro. Hey, man. My man has the serious mean mug at all times. What did you say? F***ed up. He said he's your friend stupid or something. Hey, don't call him stupid. Don't you ever call him stupid. Go on. Get out of here. Get out of here. I love Lieutenant Dan. Like, for real. Like, he's one of my favorite characters. I'm sorry I ruined your New Year's Eve party, Lieutenant Dan. She tastes like cigarettes. <laughs> or is it he don't like nasty hoes? He don't like unfamiliar nasty hoes. Actually, I can't even call Jenny a hoe. She, she's for the streets, but I can't even call her a hoe. She's been through some shit. Half of his dick, but she's been through some shit. They invited me and the ping pong team to visit the White House, and I met the President of the United States again. <laughs> again. <laughs> like, <laughs> this shit getting old. <laughs> Oh, no. I know of a much nicer hotel. It's brand new, very modern. I'll have my people take care of it for you. You might want to send a maintenance man over to that office across the way, because in flashlights, they're keeping me awake. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. Vice President Ford will be sworn in as president. I don't remember none of that. And I don't know what happened in real life. What happened? I'd made a promise to Bubba. So I went on down to Biola Battery to meet Bubba's family. And of course, I paid my respect to Bubba yeah, himself. Boy, the real one. So anyway, I'm putting all that on the brand new shrimping boat. It ain't brand new. But it's new to you. That's all that matters. You know what I found out? Shrimping is tough. I only caught five. A couple of boys, you could have yourself a cocktail. <laughs> How you gonna laugh at that man for that? You ever think about a neighbor that's old boat? It's bad luck to have a boat without a name. There was only one I could think of. The most beautiful name in the wide world. That's why your boat dirty. It's because you named it after a dirty hoe. Like I said, can't call her that because she's been through some <laughs> half of his dick, but. Now, I hadn't heard from Jenny in a long while. I thought about her a lot, and I hoped that whatever she was doing made her happy. Lord, she out there living her best life. All the is sitting on the dock. What are you doing here? Thought I'd try out my sea legs. But you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dane. Yes, I know that. <laughs> you wrote me a letter, you idiot. You blessed that child's heart. Well, Captain Forrest Gump, I had to see this for myself. And I told you if you were ever a shrimp boat captain. Lieutenant Dan, smoking black amounts that I'd be your first mate. Well, here I am. I am a man of my word. 
You have to f up. It's my boat. How did your boat even come back that way? Over there! They're over there! Get, get on the wheel! He's like a hood ornament. Why toilet? <laughs> Why toilet lid? So how are we gonna find them? Well, maybe you should just pray for shrimp. Still Shut the f up. So I went to church every Sunday. Shut the f up. Man, I did not know for it's gonna. I didn't. Hey, I'm t I must go to the bathroom. I did not remember that. Where the hell's this god of yours? It's funny Lieutenant Dan said that, because right then, God showed up. Either you'll play my name, boy. Now me, I was scared, but Lieutenant Dan, he was mad. Hey man, I love Lieutenant Dan. Carmen came through here yesterday. Just and is in other towns up and down the coast. Shut the f up. Only one shrimping boat actually survived the storm. Louise, that's forced. After that, shrimping was easy. I bet that stank. We got a whole bunch of boats. Twelve Jennies. He named them all Jennies. We even have hats. Let's say Bubba Gump bone. Bubba Gump shrimp. It's a household name. <laughs> it's a household name. Are you telling me you're the owner of the Bubba Gump Shrimp Corporation? We got more money than David Crockett. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting next to a millionaire. <laughs> I thought it was a very lovely story. So you believe everything else, but the fact that he got money, that's the hard part to believe? Would you like to see what Lieutenant Dan looks like? Yes, I would. That's him right there. I wish a boy could see that magazine. Forrest, I never thanked you for saving my life. I mean, bro, that's not a thank you. You just, you just acknowledge the fact you've never done it. He never actually said so, but I think... He made his peace with God. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Force has a phone call. He is indisposed at the moment. His mama said. Oh, shut the f up. I forgot all about this. President, you're shaking hands. Hi, forced. I forgot about his mom getting sick. What's the matter, Mama? I'm dying, Forrest. Come on in, sit down over here. Oh, that's sad. Don't you be afraid, sweetheart. Death is just a part of life. Something we're all destined to do. Hey, his mom is so, like, she's... I did the best I could. You did good, Mom. His mom is so real, man. I happen to believe you make your own destiny. Like, all she did was, like... Love and courage for us. What's my destiny, Mom? You're gonna have to figure that out for yourself. Life is a box of chocolates, Forrest. You never know what you're gonna get. And I know Forrest is scared to death right now. I will miss you, Forrest. She had got the cancer and died on a Tuesday. I bought her a new hat with little flowers on it. And that's all I have to say about that. Oh, God, I forgot all about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to pause it. Damn. That shit fucks with my heart. That shit hit different now. Because my mom's been fighting cancer. I just know how Forrest feels right now. My mom's doing good. It's, it's just scary. I'm sorry for pausing it and walking off. I don't want nobody to think I cheated them out of the emotion.
It's just I could it just made me think about I feel how I felt when mom's told me. Like I said, my mom my mom's doing good. She's doing good. She's doing really good. So uh, I never went back to work for Lieutenant Dan. He got me invested in some kind of fruit company. Shut the f up. And I got a call from him saying we don't have to worry about money no more. And I said, that's good. One less thing. And even though Bubba was dead, I gave Bubba's mama Bubba Shea. Boy, it's a real one, I'm telling you. She didn't have to work in nobody's kitchen no more. Shut the f up. She got a white woman cooking for her. But at night time, when there was nothing to do, and the house was all empty, I'd always think of Jenny. Popped up like a damn ghost, didn't she? Shut the f up. The bitch is a ghost. Popped up like the STD <laughs> ghost of Christmas past. Ooh, Forrest, remember when I gave you the clap? I'm giving Jenny a hard time, but I know she been through some like for her. She been through some Y'all know what half of it is, but she's been through some And then she was there. Hello, Forrest. Hello, Jenny. Hey, Jenny bad, though. <laughs> Here, she bad. Jenny came back and stayed with me. Maybe it was because she had nowhere else to go. It was wonderful having her home. Rain. She about to lose her sh Like, I can't, I just can't imagine the emotional trigger this had to have on her. You know what I'm saying? Like, she ain't seen this motherfucker in years. Hey, she is tiny, though. She needs a sandwich. Sometimes, I guess there just aren't enough rocks. Hey, that's a valid quote. That is a valid quote. Every day, I'd pick pretty flowers and put them in a room for her. She gave me the best gift anyone could ever get. Some vagina. Little Nike, Nike's work too. And it was the happiest time of my life. That was beautiful. Will you marry me? Shoot or shoot. You don't want to marry me. Why don't you love me, Jenny? I mean, that's a sad question. I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. I love how he stands outside like a grandma. Jenny. Hey, you know, I really do believe that. I believe that with everything in me. I think she truly loved Forrest, but she knows she is a piece of Where are you running off to? I'm not running. Yeah, you are. You're always running. All the time. He put that man to sleep and then hit him with a dear John. Thanks, claim, boy. I love rocking chairs. I swear to you, I love them. I have my whole life. That day, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. So I ran to the end of the road. And when I got there, I thought maybe I'd run to the end of town. President Carter. And I figured since I run this far, maybe I'd just run across the great state of Alabama. And that's what I did. For no particular reason, I just kept on going. I ran clear to the ocean. I bet. Can you imagine being one of the people that works in Forrest's house? 
and he just took off running one day and just didn't come back. When I got to another ocean, I figured since I've gone this far, I might as well just turn back. Keep right on going. Can you imagine if he caught a leg cramp during this? And so you just ran. I love that old woman. Yeah. So, like, I know a lot of things in this movie was actually real events. Did somebody actually run across the country like this? Or is this this for this movie? For more than two years now, a man named Forrest Gump. Oh, years? Hold on. For the fourth time on his journey across America, Forrest Gump, the gardener from Greenbow, Alabama. I mean, they say he's just a gardener. Why aren't we saying this, this man worth about a billion? Why are you doing this? I just felt like running. I mean, you know Forrest's cardio was amazing. If he was to kick somebody, he'd kill him instantly. Like, they would just explode. I had run for three years, two months, 14 days, and 16 hours. That's beautiful. I love scenery. Quiet. Quiet. He's going to say something. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. And you know, they got to feel like some jackasses right here. As I'm tired, I'm going home now. And just like that, my running days was over. Now what are we supposed to do? Go to f home. Moments ago, at 2.25 p.m., as President Reagan was leaving the Washington Hotel, five or six gunshots... There's been a lot of people getting shot in this movie. I'm supposed to go on the number nine bus to Richmond Street. You don't need to take a bus. Five or six blocks down that way. Down that way? Down that way. That's such a sweet old woman. It was nice talking to you. I hope everything works out for you. My man is running in the middle of the road. Hey! Forrest, come in, come in. I got your ladder. Oh, I was wondering about that. You got air conditioning. Worth a billion dollars, and he just surprised by our condition. I want to apologize for anything that I ever did to you, because I was messed up for a long time. And hey, that takes a big person to do that. Gotta go, Jim. I'm double parked. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Hey, Forrest, he's he dead people. Hello, Mr. Gump. Hello. Can I go watch TV now? Just keep it low. You're a mama. He took 25 steps. His name's Forrest. I named him after his daddy. He got a daddy named Forrest, too? Hey, you know... You're his daddy, Forrest. I never believed this was Forrest's son. For the longest time. I just figured, you know what I'm saying? She just... Named him after him because she know he'll take care of him. But watching this today has changed my mind. Because Forrest Gump has lived a superhuman life. He so he probably got superhuman sperm. So he probably would be the one to get her knocked up. Isn't he beautiful? He's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And he only busted two nuts in his whole life that we know about. First one was an accident. So he probably blew her back out with that nut. Is, is he smart? He's very smart. He's one of the smartest in his class. Yeah, it's okay. Go talk to him. And they both got them ears. What are you watching? Fortnite. I've never noticed that before. The little head turn. I never noticed that. I have some kind of virus. They don't know what it is, and there isn't anything they can do about it. I'll take care of you if you're sick. Would you marry me, Forrest? Okay. I love Forrest. He loved her with his whole heart from day one. He made a beautiful bride, too. 
Lieutenant Dang. The legend himself. Lieutenant Dang. Hello, Forrest. You got new legs. New legs. Yeah. So y'all were just titanium alloy. It's what they use on the space shuttle. Magic legs. Magic legs. Lieutenant Dang. This is my Jenny. And I know people give Jenny hell because she married Forrest Gump. But she's had a rough life. She deserved to have an easy end to her life. She, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. She deserved to be around people who love her and will take care of her. She deserves that. Everybody deserves that in their life. I wish I could have been there with you. Hey, you been all over the country? You didn't see some of this shit with this high. You don't remember it. I love you. You died on a Saturday morning. I had you placed here under a tree. That's sad, man. And I had that house of your father bulldozed to the ground. Mama always said dying was a part of life. I sure wish it was. Man, he loved her. Little Forrest is doing just fine. About to start school again soon. I make his breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. And every night we read a book. He's so smart, Jenny. You'd be so proud of him. Man, Forrest, Forrest had a lot of pain in his life, too. You know what I'm saying? I miss you, Jenny. My dude hurt, man. I hate seeing him hurt. If there's anything you need. He been a good dude this whole movie, man. I won't be far away. And that's the one thing to crack him. Grew up, no daddy. All the kids mean to him. People picking on him. He fell in love, and she constantly rejected him. Constantly wanted nothing to do with him. Here's your bus. Okay. Shut the f up. I know this. I'm gonna serve that for so and tell. My favorite book. And the feather fell out. Shut the f up. There you go. Look how little he was, man. Hey, Forrest. I want to tell you I love you. I love you too, Daddy. I'll be right here when you get back. And at the same driver. Shut the f up. Beautiful man. All right, we just got finished watching Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump is a beautiful movie. It's wild because this is probably the first movie that I've done a reaction to that I've seen before, but it's like little things in it that I I didn't remember. I didn't remember how Lieutenant Dan got on the boat. I didn't remember his mom dying from cancer. Truth for the matter, I don't remember his mom dying. I thought she was. I thought she was there at the wedding. It's it's a, it's a, it's some things in here that I didn't remember. But yeah, I used to give Jenny hell. I did. Even before I seen the little details, I, like I said, this time around, I truly believe that was his son. Because Forrest had a superhuman life. It only makes sense he's got superhuman um, sperm. You know what I'm saying? His knuckle babies came out with capes. You know what I mean? I enjoyed watching this. I did. And 
made me think about Bernie a lot, which makes me happy. I'm glad I watched this movie. Um, if you didn't do it for me earlier, please do it for me now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on social media. Don't forget to check out the merch store. From now to the first of the year, we're doing 20% off, well, 25% off. All you got to use to do is the promo code lit with the word LISTEN. All capital letters. Don't forget to check out the Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, I'm going to give a shout out to the VIPs. I'm going to give a shout out to Leslie, Trey, John Harold, Becca June, the beautiful dog Missy, Big Al, Robin, Big Frank, Crow Crow, Cody Steinemeyer, Paul Sawicki, Frost1997, Anna Rondo, Jeff Jardikin, Adam, Grady B. Olsen, Red Tail Z, TJ Gingler, Thomas, the brand integer, Elizabeth Esposito, Nicholas Jenkins, Super Nobody, Rachel Martinez, Jennifer and Natalie, BB98, Chris, Nareen, Nick, Coat Movies at Midnight, Jamie Gibson, Miguel Brooks, Caleb Stephen Cluzo, Echo Pina, Sammy Zachary, Jonathan Patrick, Ryan Rocket Beardo, Blackbeard Bob, High Indie Media, Amen Locke, Jake Stimson, Benign Boar, Jake Slogan, Tony A. Ergon, Captain Roberts, Dom LeVar Hawkins, Show, Colin Shore, Jason, Holly Smith, Brad Williams, Rick, Miranda, Michael Clark, Jesse, Gina, Luke the First, Antoine, and Cecil. I want to thank all y'all for being VIPs. I want to thank everybody for being part of the family as well. Y'all the best part of this channel. Thank y'all for all the love and support y'all show. Come on, bye bye. But y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Night night. You see how fast it's off running? I think you know what's food involves. <laughs>